Now we'll discuss the difference between competitive and non-competitive antagonism. So these are the two major types of antagonism. The competitive, as the word indicates, that is a competition. Competition between whom? Between two drugs. Which one? The agonist and antagonist. When there is a competition between the agonist and antagonist to bind with the receptor or to bind with the enzyme, then that antagonism is called as competitive. Or non-competitive antagonism means when they do not compete with each other for binding, then it is non-competitive. So let us see the major difference between this. So the first difference, the competitive antagonism. In uh, competitive antagonism, the agonist and antagonist, they bind with the same site. And because of that, there, there would be a competition. If the binding site is same, then and only the competition would occur. And this binding site, it is known as the recognition site. So antagonist and agonist, they bind with the same site. That site is known as recognition. So that's the first point in the competitive. While the non-competitive antagonism, the agonist and antagonist, they bind with different sites. And they, they, they both have the different binding sites. And that antagonist binds with the allosteric site. So the antagonist binds with the recognition site in the competitive antagonism and antagonist binds with the allosteric site on the non-competitive antagonism. So recognition site it's a main site for the binding of agonist. So recognition site is a site where the agonist star binds and then they produces the response. So the first difference the agonist and the antagonist they both have the same binding site and in competitive and in non-competitive they bind antagonist binds with the different sites so the same and here is different so the binding sites are different and the binding sites are same so first difference the second difference is the antagonist has structural similarity and that is why they compete with the agonist so antagonist they have the structural similarity with the agonist so that is the second difference while here they have the different structure and that is why they won't compete with each other so in competitive the antagonist and agonist they have they both they have the structural similarity and that is why they compete with the binding to the site so that's a competitive and the antagonist uh, and in non-competitive the antagonist would have the different structure than the agonist so they do not have any competition the third is the when you increase the amount of agonists say the competition would always occur when the amount of drug is in equilibrium or when the amount of agonist and antagonist they are in the same concentration so then and then the competition would take place if you increase the agonist concentration then the antagonist would not bind with the site means they wouldn't allow the antagonist to bind with the site so yeah, what you can do is you can reverse the antagonism. So maximum response of agonist can be achieved by increasing the dose of agonist. So in competitive, if you increase the concentration of agonist, they would displace the antagonist from the binding site. And so you will get back the agonist response. So maximum response of agonist can be achieved by increasing the dose of agonist while here you cannot achieve in case of non-competitive you cannot achieve the maximum response by increasing the dose so increasing the dose would not help in this condition because the binding site are different so you would not get the maximum response by increasing the dose of the agonist so these are the three points the next three points are the next point is the dose response curve the dose response curve of agonist drc dose response curve means as you increase the concentration you would get the increase in the response the maximum response is the 100 percent so this this one line is indicating the drc so in the competitive antagonism you can identify the competitive antagonism by looking into the graph see if there is a rightward shift this is the right side so it's a right word this is a left side and this is the right side so if you increases the concentration of antagonist 
so it's a one time antagonist concentration it's a 10 time antagonist concentration as you increase the antagonist concentration the the drc would shift towards the right side so that's a parallel rightward shift of the agonist dose response curve that's a characteristic of competitive antagonism so you can identify the competitive antagonism by looking into the graph if there is a rightward parallel shift of the agonist drc taken place then it's it's a it's a competitive antagonism while the non-competitive antagonism as we have seen the third point that you cannot achieve the maximum response by increasing the concentration of antagonists so you will never increase you will never get the maximum response so here in case of one time concentration of antagonists here it's a 10 type concentration of antagonists as you increases the concentration the maximum response would decrease so the the drc would get flattened so it's a flattening because you can non, you can never get the maximum response in, by increasing the concentration of agonist so that's a flattening of agonist dose response curve that's a characteristic of non competitive antagonism <coughs> so by looking into the graph if the parallel rightward shift occurs it's a it's a competitive antagonism and if the maximum response is flattening and it's a non-competitive antagonism then the next is say the intensity of the antagonism it depends on the concentration of both the agonist as well as antagonist so in competitive antagonism the concentration of both agonist as well as antagonist matters while in case of the non-competitive antagonism the intensity of antagonism it depends only on the only on the concentration of antagonist right so this is the fifth point and the last is the example the competitive antagonism example is the ACH is the agonist and atropine is the antagonist so ACH and atropine that's an example of the competitive antagonism while in non-competitive antagonism the diazepam and bicuculin so diazepam is the agonist and bicuculin is the antagonist so these are the six points okay so which are the six points we have seen the first point was the binding site the competitive antagonism the binding site of agonist and antagonist are same while in case of non-competitive antagonism the binding site of agonist and antagonist is different the binding site of antagonist in non-competitive antagonism it is known as allosteric site while in case of the competitive antagonism that was the recognition site okay the second difference was the structural like the agonist and antagonist in competitive antagonism they have the same structure so they have the structural relationship the structure similarity between the agonist and antagonist in competitive while in, in non-competitive the both structures are different third one the maximum response mm -hmm can be achieved by increasing the dose of agonist in competitive antagonism while in a non-competitive antagonism you can never get the maximum response by increasing the dose of agonist right the fourth difference is the parallel rightward shift of agonist dose response curve by looking into the graph we can differentiate right which one is the competitive and which one is the non-competitive if parallel rightward shift occurs then it is competitive and if the flattening of drc occurs then it is non-competitive good then the next is the intensity of antagonism in competitive antagonism the intensity of antagonism depends on the concentration of both what agonist as well as antagonist while in case of non-competitive antagonism in non-competitive antagonism the antagonism intensity is only depending on the concentration of antagonist so only antagonist and agonist and antagonist okay the next is the example so in competitive antagonism the example is what ECH and atropine ECH is the agonist and atropine is the antagonist so competitive antagonism then in non-competitive antagonism the diazepa is the agonist and bicuculin is the antagonist so these are the six differences that we have seen between the competitive and non-competitive antagonism i hope you have learned this topic and if you found any diff if you found any difficulty with uh, related to this difference please let us know uh, we'll try to solve your queries as soon as possible. 
wish you happy learning thank you